Hello my Virgos, my name is Psychic Gigi and I'm going to be doing your mini general love reading for the remainder of September 2019. Please like, share and subscribe. Okay Virgos, um, Sun, Moon and Rising. I've already kind of shuffled the deck, I'll do it a couple more times. Let's see what we have for our Virgos. Let's jump right into your reading. So the first card that I have is the Emperor, Reverse. So some of you might be dealing with, you know, could be a stubborn type of energy or you're feeling a little bit restricted or there's some, certain things in and around your relationship that are really starting to bother you and it might be a time for some change. The next card that I have is the Nine of Wands. Again, um, I still feel like the person that you're dealing with does have the ability to have that that strength and um, the stability or the commitment in around your relationship, but they're just not there yet. Um, with the nine of wands upright, you guys have kind of been through a little bit. I, I will tell you that. I feel like the energy around my Virgos is you guys been through some, some shit basically and you're tired, so you definitely need to make sure that you um, sustain your energy and even though you've been going through a rough time, I feel like the two of you are not relating pr like on the same level. Like there's a lack of um, inconsistency with this person and you're just not seeing like eye to eye really. Um, but there, I, I am getting that some of you are going to kind of just push forward to get where you want to be and others are just, just, you know, again, don't let all of your energy be set, snapped out of you. Um, the next card that I have is, is the page of cups. So this could be somebody from your past coming back guys. Um, that has not been very stable in the past. But they're definitely romantically interested in you. They are, um, they're willing to follow their heart. They're starting to change a little bit. I get the energy changing. This could be you and or your partner where, you know, you're kind of feeling, okay, maybe this is something I should start to work on. It's not as bad as it, as it might seem, okay? Um, there's also, um, with the Page of Cups, I also get there could be an in showing me that there could be, you could be dealing with a younger person or it just could be somebody new coming into your life. It just brings that spice of, um, that spice of love and emotional joy, emotional fulfillment in and around you. The next card that I have is the seven of cups upright. So I feel like some of my Virgos do have several options, several opportunities around them. You know, you just have to be mindful not to be lost in fantasy. Um, there are some potential opportunities for romance and partnership in around you. I feel like some of you are just kind of holding out for this one energy that you're holding on to. So let's just see what the next card is. So yeah, again, this, this person that you're, even though you have several opportunities and options around you, you're really kind of waiting on this emperor reversed to this person that's not really ready to come forth. Um, the eight of pentacles is them just not really doing a lot of work in around the relationship. So they need to put the effort in for the relationship to move forward there there's a lack of commitment with them and also they're a little bit lazy so but i will tell you this i got the death card reversed and i i kind of sense this coming i have to be honest with you because this is not over one of you are kind of you know just resisting the change to move forward um you might be holding on to some old neg negative energy and around the relationship that's just really not um it's stagnating so um i feel like there is going to be some maybe you're just terrified of being lonely that could be the other thing some of you might be dealing with just i just don't want to be alone so i'm going to even though that there's other options for me to look at and this person's really not doing the work i'm not ready to let, let this person go so just be mindful that you don't stay with a partner who's like no longer really a, a good fit for you. Um, I feel like some of you are um, building and working on your self-confidence and kind of letting go. 
but you have to allow a partner in your life who's going to treat you with love and respect if you're looking for this commitment. So some of you might be dealing with two people in around you right now because I got the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who represents stability structure, definitely doesn't have issues with commitment. So that's not, that's not the issue at all. Um, they're a little bit more practical, patience, but at the same time, very faithful. So some of you could be meeting this Knight of Pentacles that comes into your life, even though you're dealing with somebody from your past. Again, you have several options around you. I don't feel like they're limited. Um, it's just about you guys stepping back, choosing the right partner right now for you. Um, and when I say this, guys, I don't mean that you have to let go of this person in its entirety. But for now, if looking at the situation and the lack of work and effort that they're putting it around and they bring in a little bit of emotional joy, um, I would definitely look at my options around me to maybe just temporarily have this stability in your life. I mean, you know, nothing's forever. So just be mindful of that and stay balanced and grounded. Let's go ahead and do a, a romance oracle angel for my Virgo sun, moon, and rising for the last two weeks of September. Okay, so here it is. It's keep an open mind. So you guys have a lot of options around you this month and your soulmate just soulmate might be different than like what you, your usual type is or what your expectations are. So this is about just keeping an open mind, but not just an open mind, an open heart because there, I feel like some of you do have a soulmate connection around you and you've kind of been, um, I don't, I don't want to say, I feel like this person's already in your life. So if they're not in your life, they're definitely coming in. So have an open mind and open heart because some of you are, get ready because you will be meeting somebody new as well as dealing with somebody from your past. Okay, Virgos, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light to everyone.